Welcome to Chat Everyone. My name is Heath, and today we're going to be taking a look at some very amazing software. Have you always wanted to be able to play Steam games and you don't have the money to buy a Steam Deck? Well, we're going to show you how to do that. Not only will you be able to do that, but you can actually control your computer while you're away with this app as well. So the first step in being able to control your computer and also being able to play your Steam games on any device such as your phone or tablet, you're going to need to download the Steam Link software. It is available on the Google Play Store. Just go in there. It is free to download. Download the app on your phone and install it just like you would any other app. After that, you'll need to go to your computer, open up the Steam program as well. Make sure you're logged in on it and that it is on the same network at the time when you're installing the software. After that, you're going to go back to the Steam Link software, log into your Steam account on it, and then you're going to go through the setup process of actually being able to control and play games on your phone or whatever device you may be using at the time. It will actually walk you through the different steps that are required to be able to set up the Steam Link software and connect it to your Steam account on your computer as well. But one of the first things you want to do right here is up at the top, you're going to be able to click that gear, and then you're greedy with the settings page. Uh, the computer is there that shows the computer that it's going to be connected to the controller type if you tap on the controller it shows if you have any paired controllers to your device whether it's your phone whether it's a tablet or whatever you are using then you can go back and then you're going to be greeted with a stream settings page there are actually three different pages that you're going to be able to adjust options on it as well you can set the video to balance or different ones stereo uh, mode or audio mode the microphone whether you want it on or off input type whether it's enabled or disabled and the control overlay as well so on page two of the stream settings you are greeted with launch mode bandwidth limit frame rate limit resolution limit and performance overlay and you can choose the different options that you want to set up for each of these uh whether you want to show recent games when you first load the app back up if you want to limit bandwidth to the device when you're playing game i think the frame rate limit and the resolution limit would be best used if you have a lower end device so you can adjust the settings from 480p 720p i think it goes all the way up to 8k as well so whatever your device you're playing on you can set the proper resolution i personally just leave it at it's automatic and i have no issue with it whatsoever then on our third page we have hardware decoding we have hevc video whether it's enabled or disabled uncompressed audio whether it's disabled or enabled and allow direct connection as well to your device and then also at the bottom if you go back to the previous page there is a network test button as well let me move my camera out of the way there is also a network test button as well so you can actually tap that button it's going to connect to your pc and try to establish a connection just to see what your bandwidth is available and how well your device that you're using is going to be able to connect to your computer and be able to stream your games that you're going to be playing the bandwidth test runs relatively fast after that you're just going to tap ok then we'll go back to our main page of our steam link app okay so once you get the application set up get steam link set up you can actually start playing some games and what you're going to be doing is just basically just hit start playing it's going to load up big picture mode of steam on your computer so let's tap start playing right here and so we are greeted with big picture mode right here inside of our phone so this is what the app looks like once we actually start streaming you can actually play any game you want to however uh some games don't work quite as well so it gives you a really nice list of games that are available to you that will work the best possibly with the steam link software so if you notice right here we have y x a b uh, left button right button as well you can actually set up your controller type how you want your controller so what you do is you tap this little button right here it shows you can touch controller enable mouse disable uh if you want the mouse to be disabled on your computer uh for myself personally I actually enable the mouse that way i'm able to control my desktop so what i would do is actually direct mouse cursor and you'll be able to move the mouse cursor around on the screen uh whatever device you're using whether it's a phone a tablet whatever it is just by simply touching the screen like you normally would uh for any other game or any other piece of software also if you notice down here at the bottom it has layout controls and you tap on the layout controls and actually put the buttons for the different things you want available to show on your screen while you're playing again again there are some glitches to this as well 
Don't get me wrong. This is not a, you know, this is not a Steam Deck replacement, but this is a really nice way to be able to play games when you're away from your computer. Not only that, you can actually play games. I was at Walmart one day sitting in the parking lot while I was waiting on my wife grocery shopping. And I was playing a game on my phone from Steam directly on my, uh, from my computer. Once you get the screen loaded up, you can actually direct what items you want on your screen. So basically all you're going to do is drag and drop whatever you want on your screen so you can place these anywhere so just like that and then you'll have a little button on your phone that shows you which options you have available so we can go back there again let's say we want to have a mouse button and we will place a circle like that on our layout as well and let's say for instance if you want to get rid of one of the controllers or one of the options that is on your screen all you have to do is tap it drag and drop on the little trash can and it disappears also off of your screen. So now that you set up what controls you want to have available on your device, you can actually close out of this by tipping the X, tap X again, and again, you're back to the main screen. This button right here, it shows home library. So you can actually go to your library by pressing down, tap the A button, and it gives you a list of all the games that are available in your library. And as you notice right here, across the top of the screen, it shows all games, install games, favorites, great games for remote play, which is what we want as well. So uh, we're just gonna press up. And once you go over to Great for Remote Play, as you can see right here, I have a list of seven different games that I actually own. Uh, Counter-Strike, CSGO, Doom Eternal, Dota Underlords, Graveyard Keeper, Red Dead Redemption 2, Monkey Island, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. All right, so let's pick one of these games. Let's load it up. And we're gonna tap the A button. It's actually gonna load us up to the next screen. So we're gonna tap A again, and it's gonna actually load that game on our phone for us. So right now what you're seeing is the actual layout and the actual game that's gonna be played from your phone directly. So now that we actually started playing the game, it loads the game up on your phone. You have the option, just like you normally would to choose options, play, etc. So I do a little bit of finagling to get this to mirror correctly on my computer. So uh, you're just gonna tap play. This is the most recent play right there. So now that you've got your game loaded up and you're inside the game, all you can do is just tap on the game itself. It's gonna give you the option to be able to move your little man around. And as you can see, there's a little circle. So wherever I move at, that's where he's gonna go. So right there, that is how you control inside of the game. And if you notice at the top of the screen, there is a left arrow and a right arrow. If you tap the left arrow in this game, it actually loads up the inventory. And then just, just like any other game, you have the options to press A to use the item, press X to unequip the item, or why to destroy items. So we're just gonna tap left again. That way we close our inventory. If you press the right button, it brings up the main menu and you're just gonna tap down. In the event that you wanna get out of the game, you're just gonna tap down, keep on tapping down until you get to exit menu. And once you hit exit menu, you're just gonna select just like normal, press A. Are you sure you wanna leave the game? So just as if we were playing on PC, which actually we really are, Whenever we hit exit the main menu, all unsaved progress will be lost. Are you sure? You're just gonna select it just like you normally would. It takes us back to the main menu and then you have the option to be able to exit the game just like you normally would. So you just go down to exit, press the A button once again, and it closes the game. That brings us back to the main graveyard keeper menu inside of the Steam program. Then you're just gonna tap back, brings you back to our recent games. Again, if you want to play a different game, just choose a different game you want to play. Select it and let it load up. So now that you're finished playing your game that you were playing and you want to get out of the Steam Link app, you just tap the logo at the top right here, the little Steam logo. That brings up the menu on the side. You're going to go down to power. Select the power option. And then you, have, you're greeted with these options right here that says exit to big picture mode. And this is going to allow us to control our computer from the Steam Link app on our phone or on our tablet. So uh, let's go exit big picture mode. So once you hit exit big picture mode, it will actually show you your desktop. In this case, I run Windows 11. So you can see all the windows that are currently going on inside of my computer. There's my OBS, there's my Steam app that's loaded. There is the Pixel 6a that I'm actually mirroring onto OBS as well. And all you do is just be able to move the mouse just like you normally would just by simply touching the screen on the device that you currently have the Steam Link app loaded on. So in the event you want to send yourself an email or open up a program on your computer, 
all you would do is just move the mouse just like you normally would go down to the windows logo you would tap it one time which is left click and it shows you a list of everything that is available just like normal if you were sitting at your desktop computer so once you are finished you're going to tap the logo at the top the steam logo it's going to bring you back inside of the steam link app or actually the steam program itself then at the top it took me a couple times to actually tap it i was trying to tap it but couldn't successfully tap it but tap the steam logo it will bring the menu up on the side for you then you're actually going to take the menu and just uh, go down to power once you get down to power as you can see here just go to power press the a button it brings it up you press stop streaming and that is how you close out the steam link app just by doing this right here all right so there we go that is how you set up and install the steam link software on your android device i'm not sure if it works on ios uh if you have ios device let me know if the steam link app is available on ios as well and set it up and try it out one thing i will say that it is not perfect by any means of, or imagination yeah, it does have this occasional glitch some games don't work with it very well some games work really really well but anyway this is how you set it up this is how you get steam link on your phone on your computer and being able to play steam games not only that being able to control your pc as well whenever you're away from it and not don't have access to it at all anyway guys gals appreciate you hanging out until next time much love peace out and we'll see you soon